Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh, I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here. Lord Maxwell, and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. while you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the Great Spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there, I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. Thanks, I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm, yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, 
We might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please, return to us safely! So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal, while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. 
I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> After you left the shrine in Niakara. That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. Oh. 
Okay, this should do. My Lilium Orb is coming along nicely. She always knows exactly what to pick. How I envy that. The likes of you will not stop me. Is it all right to just leave the temporal stones there without putting them back? It's fine. Just keep quiet about it and no one will even know it was us. No brakes? <laughs> 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 Is fighting the only answer? I won't let anyone down. Just keeps getting better. I hope I made the right choice with my Lilium Orb. It's up to you to develop how you choose. Believe in yourself. Watch out for the rocky outcroppings. They might be monsters in disguise. See the way Mila freezes those enemies in their tracks? I guess she really is into bondage. Oh, is that what the technique is called? Oh, I thought I'd get more of a rise out of you than that. I'm just tired of your lies and innuendos. Just give it up already. Oh, and now I'm the one being tied down by your sadistic decrees. Sorry, Jude. I'm not that into bondage play. But it is true that some people can only experience true intimacy when they're tied and bound. 
The conversation takes a surprising turn. Are you speaking from personal experience? No, I read it in a book. It was called Men and Women Beneath the Sheets. What sort of books are you reading? There was a similar comment in The Aesthetics of Being the Catcher as well. That one's probably about something different. Oh? Well, well, I wouldn't really know. Sounds like Mila's more into total freedom than tying anyone down. 